Hey guys, what's up? So yeah, another intro to put in front of a Dark Souls video, and I have a really good reason to put an intro in front of this one. Um, I had forgotten when I put the last Dark Souls 2 video up um, that I actually wasn't really planning on putting up this footage of me using the kid character to go after the pursuer. And the reason why is because of the stuttering frame rate. See, I was an idiot the night I decided to um, play the game and um, go up against a pursuer early with her. I also happened to have been rendering a video at the same time. And it was taking a while for this video to render. I forgot exactly what video it was, but it was a pretty long one. Um, and I was, you know, getting impatient, and I'm like, I want to hurry up and play this game. Well, my computer should be able to handle it. Well, okay. My computer was is able to handle rendering a video and playing Dark Souls 2 at the same time. I've done it before. What it starts to suffer from is when you're rendering the video and playing the game and recording it at the same time. That's when the frame rate starts to stutter a bit. Now, while I was playing it, it didn't stutter so badly that I couldn't play it. What I didn't, or what I didn't know until afterwards, however, was that the actual recording of the footage ended up making things look even worse. So when I ended up reviewing the footage, it was a chugging mess. And I was just like, oh God, I don't think I can put this up. But then I was debating, well, it's not... Here's the thing. You can still basically follow what's going on, but... And in fact, like, the most of the earlier... Most of the video, when you're watching it, before I get to the Pursuer, it's not too bad. Like, it's... It, it, you know what? It plays okay. Like, a little bit of a, a slowdown here or there, but nothing too bad. It's when I start heading toward the Pursuer boss that all of a sudden it just starts... Just really starts freeze-framing on you. Um, and again, it's not so horrible that you can't follow what's going on, but it's definitely enough to kind of be, to be annoying. So I was just like, I don't know if I want to put this up, but I, it's been a while since I played, uh, since that happened. And I've completely forgot about that. So when I put up the video with Kit last time and I was saying, oh yeah, um, next battle is going to be the pursuer. You know, I, I didn't realize I just kind of set myself up for this. So Yeah. Because I promised, it's here, but I just got to warn you guys, the frame rate isn't all that great. Um, it was my stupid fault. I played the game when I had too much going on in the background. <laughs> yeah, just blame it squarely on me, uh, you know, where it goes. None of the other videos after this are nowhere near, as, as me. like, everything's smooth and silky, you know, from this point on, because I learned my lesson. I am not playing this game with so much running in the background anymore, but, um... Yeah, that's basically what happened. So, you know, if you guys... So, so yeah, this that's why the frame rate... This is where the footage is going to look kind of effed up. Sorry. <laughs> um, but I do have at least... Again, you, sh you should be able to follow the fight anyway. Like, you'll be able to basically tell what I'm doing and how I, I take them out. Um, and again, a lot of the footage before I get up to that point, it's... Fairly smooth. So, and I also have to say that if some of you guys, before I, um, I, I get this question, I better say this right now. It ran smoother while I was playing than how, what you're seeing is not what I saw when I was playing. If it was playing like that, I wouldn't have bothered at all. <laughs> like me, it was just a little bit of a stutter. The footage makes it look a lot worse. So, whatever. Also, one other thing I think I better get out the way before we go on with this. I do summon some help for this fight. Not necessarily because I really needed it. In fact, like in the beginning, I said, oh, I just want somebody for a distraction because my character's really, really weak. But I should have known better because it's the Pursuer. I can pretty much dodge all of his attacks easily. And in fact, later on, I, I plan on using her to, um, when I beat the Pursuer again, I'm going to like actually record it properly so you can see how to handle a Pursuer by yourself. But I'm going to warn you guys right now, if you are expecting me to go through this game without bringing allies in, you're going to be disappointed. It's not because I can't handle these bosses alone. In fact, many of these bosses... On my PlayStation 3 version, most of these bosses I took on 
myself. And that was with a game stuck at 30 frames per second where it's harder to dodge and harder to parry and stuff like that. The reason why I'm doing it here is because I like co-op. <laughs> I like bringing people in and, um, ha you know, having this cooperation type thing going on. Besides, it makes the boss a little bit harder anyway. They get more life, they get more, you know, defense, and sometimes they get more minions running around. So I don't necessarily find it. It doesn't always make the fight easier. Um, it can make some fights more manageable, but for the most part, the main reason why I'm doing it is just for shits and giggles. Um, there will, there's at least one time though I bring it in simply because I got frustrated. You'll see when. It's another boss battle way down the line. But, um, yeah, I'm just warning you guys now. There are going to be boss battles where I bring people in. Not all of them, but some of them. And, and some of them, of course, I'm bringing NPC, um, characters in simply because I want to push the storyline along. Um, but don't worry, it's not going to be every boss that I bring somebody in. Okay, so, you know, if that's your worry, don't worry about that. All right. That's this is too long of an intro. Let's get on with the gameplay. Greetings, everyone. Okay, when last we left Kit, she was pretty much raising Cain in this particular area. Um, we've already fought our way through this bonfire, as you can see. We uh, talked to Valencia for a bit, got a couple of goodies from her. We cleared out that area down there. Got the fire longsword, which is going to serve her pretty well for now. We went down this way. Got to speak to um, Patch. I mean, Trusty Pate. <laughs> and um, now, what we're going to be doing is um, what are we going to be doing? It was oh yeah, we're going to be heading down here now, and we're going to be going through that area that I said I was going to be doing later. You know, um, down below with. The tree root area and the, the archers and all that we're gonna be dealing with them now so the first thing we're gonna do is you know refill life and everything like that I'm gonna go through my inventory because it's been a while since I've used her so I just want to make sure that I'm not you know forgetting anything important that I need to turn in or anything like that okay everything should be fine how are we on arrows arrows 44 good amount all right so we're gonna head down here and we're going to clear out the vermin down below. Mm -hmm. I'm moving back and forth because I'm just making sure my frame rate's smooth. I got some, I got a video rendering right now, so just want to make sure everything's smooth. And yeah, it is for the most part. Did that too early. I really should be leading with the left first because it's a quicker swinging weapon. See, see how fast that moves and oops. But it seems to me the scimitar comes out a little bit faster than the longsword. Maybe I'm wrong. All right, let's kick this guy again. Get up, get up, and get killed. Thank you. All right, so. Now, instead of just going straight up and doing that loop, we're going to be heading down here and clearing this area out because there's some items that we need to get here that are going to be useful. Not to mention there's a certain NPC who's also going to be useful. Come on, fall down. Thank you. Thank you for dying. We got this guy coming up. Thank you for dying. Have a nice day. Now, we're going to go up as normal, but there's going to be a certain spot where we need to go down. And it's right here. That was close. This item. Pick up this item. Now, we don't want to go this way, because that way is death. See? I would rather not face death. So, we're going to go this way. Actually, there's a guy over here I think we can snipe. Yes, there is. Let me see if I can hit him from here. Damn it. Motherfucker. There we go. That's one less guy we gotta worry about. Actually, I'm gonna... Let's give him a... Eh, fuck it. The guys on here aren't that tough, so I'm not too afraid of parrying with them. Yeah, a lot of snipers around here. 
I want to see if I can get this guy around the corner. Okay, there we go. How did I miss that? It seems to me that the animation would have hit. Okay, this is a rather shoddy performance, and I apologize for... Ow! What? Who the... Yeah, it's that fool. Okay, alright. Alright, you want to play games? Let's play games. I cannot believe I missed those two shots. Bro. Damn it, he had to move. I hope he moves back. Come on, move back, please. Oh. You know, looking at the... I know there's a way over here, but I'm not exactly sure how to get there. And to be perfectly honest, there's only like one item over there, and I don't even think it's worth trying to get to it, but one of these days I'm going to figure it out. I know there's a way over there. I just am not exactly sure how. If anyone else knows how, they can tell me and tell me if it's worth getting that item over there or not, because I never get it, to be honest with you. Yeah, I am, I am suffering from a little bit of a stutter on frame rate right now. my own fault for like having the video rendering right now while I'm doing this, but OW! Okay. He's gonna shoot again. I gotta watch it because I don't want to roll off the roof. And that was a bad shot. Did I get him? Yes. Who says shooting a bow and arrow is boring, right? I actually kind of messed this up a little bit. I normally snipe these guys from down below before I climb up here. Particularly that guy. I missed. Got him there. Alright, punk. Let's see what you got. Rest in pieces. Hmm. Actually, I think I'm supposed to jump here to get there, right? I think that's what you're supposed to do? Like, you, you jump from here to there? I'm not gonna try it, though. I might try it some other time, but not now. Now I need to get something more important. Let's hope I don't mess this jump up. Click! See, I, I, I just feel a lot more confident with this particular jump scheme than the old one. Not that I was... I mean, I got... A hang of the old one when I was playing the first Dark Souls, but this one just, I don't know, it feels a bit more natural to me. I know, call me the weirdo. Alright, now, who can sense a trap? If you can sense a trap in here, yeah, you're well suited to play Dark Souls. See what I mean? I mean, to, to be perfectly honest, you'd have to really be a moron to fall for that one, because the ball starts rolling well before you get there, and you can hear it coming, but... Well, there's nothing over here, by the way. Nothing but death. There's like a pit over there if you keep running in the darkness. You might easily miss it and just run right in and die, so... It's not worth going in that direction. However, it is worth going in this direction. And speaking to this rather befuddled individual over here. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just... daydreaming, I think. My name is Kale. I'm a traveler, like yourself. I'm navigating the continent to create a map. Oh, uh, really? Why cartography, you ask? Well, when I Oops, first sorry. came into this forsaken land, it was... Um, uh, uh, a curse? Uh, something about a curse? Yeah. <laughs> How embarrassing. I seem to have lost my focus. But I do know one thing for certain. I have always been very fond of maps. So already you can tell this guy must be an undead because he was drawn to this place and he now doesn't even know why he's here. He's already... his, his mind is already beginning to slip. I came to this land some time ago. Drangling, the lost kingdom. It sounded so romantic. Have you seen Majula? Oh, there's a rather spacious mansion there. 
I made it my temporary home. Well, as something of a squatter, I'm afraid. Huh. You'd think everybody was a squatter in this place, but with all the empty homes, you might as well take it up, right? Inside the mansion, I found a strange map, like none I'd ever seen. I believe that it's a map of Dremlech. Now I'm traveling the land to prove it. Yes. Yes, that's it. That's why I came to the kingdom. Wait. No. That wasn't it. Then what? I don't seem to recall. <laughs> like I told you, his mind is gone. Were you looking for that map? Wonderful. Then you are fascinated by maps, just like me. Right. Shame on you. You should have told me before. Yes, I, I should have, right. Here, take this. A key to the mansion. What a joy to meet a kindred spirit out here. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Incredible, really, isn't it? Such a map to be chiseled in stone. Oh, but one thing. I would not venture deep into the mansion. Now, I can't be certain, but I've heard disturbing noises. Something about it feels wrong. Just be careful, please. Okay, disturbing noises in an old house that you aren't too sure about. It could be any number of things. Especially if you aren't too sure if, you know, the, the house is empty and there might already be people living there. Let your dirty minds wander where it may. <laughs> anyway. Let's see. Might as well run back to the bonfire now. Because there's nothing else of worth except for that one particular item, which, again, I don't feel like risking my life to get right now. I, I might do it some other time. You know, with this character or something when I, you know, just, just for the hell of it. Because now that I'm thinking about it, that's probably where I'm supposed to jump, but I, eh. I don't feel like it right now. It's not that important to me. And I'm going to go back this way instead of the other way because, well, I just want to get this over with. I mean, I could just go the other way and wipe those fools out, but eh. Whatever. We're going to be heading straight to Majula now because there is, um... I'm going to do exploring and find out exactly what is that disturbing... those disturbing sounds. Not to mention we're going to be getting something really good out of the deal. Alrighty then. So, let's go in here and find out exactly what it is that has this guy so disturbed. By the way, I find it kind of interesting that we bump into this map maker, and yet there really isn't a map to speak of in this game. At least, you know, like a gameplay map. Like, you know, in many games or RPGs or whatever, you know, you got like a map screen that you can go to and you can get a layout of the land. Or, you know, there's a map that kind of, you know, you know, opens up as you go through it. There's nothing like that in this game. So I kind of find it, I find it funny that there's a, you know, a dude interested in maps, but there isn't anything like that. There is an actual map in the game, but it's not exactly useful. Well, it's useful to a point in that you'll be able to later on kind of figure out where you've been on that map, but it's sort of featureless unless you start killing bosses. Those of you who've played the game know what I'm talking about. Those who have not, well, you'll see as we go on. And we've got a torch and a titanite shard. These torches are, of course, useful. There's nothing out here. I guess if you want a nice view from here, you know. Okay. Already opened that up. Yeah, the frame rate's chugging a little bit. I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna turn this off soon because I, I can't play like this. <laughs> That's the map, by the way. Now, I'm thinking that as far as where I'm at on the map, I think I'm basically here. Um, and, you know, the place, the, the, the forest, I think, is around here somewhere. And Hyde's Tower, I think, is around here. After that, I'm not too sure where anything else is. But this is, you know, this is basically, um, 
This is basically the map of Drang Lake, the entire area. Now you may notice all the messages, and you may notice the bloodstains. Bloodstains? In this house? In Safo Majula? Well, you're about to find out why. Hello, Skelly. Ow. That was my stupid fault. Skeleton's not actually all that hard. In fact, the only reason why I got hit was because I was stupid enough to drain all my stamina before swinging at him. But yeah, the skeleton is not hard at all. And notice what we got out the deal. We got a human effigy from the skeleton. Hi. And we got an Estes Shard over there. And in this special little chest, we got a soul vessel, which is very useful for respecking. So it's definitely worth it as soon as you talk to Kale to come back here and get those items because they're going to be very helpful. By the way, does this look familiar to you? These this broken these this broken pieces of pottery or something over here. To anyone else, you probably wouldn't pay it any mind, right? I wonder what's on top of here. Hold on. Visions of light or dark. Okay, whatever. But yeah, um, somebody was nice enough to take a really good look at this, uh, um, another Dark Souls 2 player, and found and figured out that these are actually the pieces of the Lord Soul Vessel from the first Dark Souls. Yeah, believe it or not, that that was the main piece he focused on, and those are the exact same designs on the rim of the, um, the Lord Soul Vessel from Dark Souls 1 that you had to fill up in order to get to Lord Gwyn. So that right there is one hell of a, you know, a find in this game. That's quite a bit of mystery here. What is that doing here? And why is it shattered? What's more, where exactly are we that the Lord Vessel is here shattered? I mean, as you can tell, this, this mansion is built on top of ruins. See? I mean, are we right on top of, say, the, um, the Firelink Shrine from the first Dark Souls? Could be. Could very well be. See, stuff like that, which I really like finding in this game. You know, the little links to the first game. And of course, there is no real answer to that. It's just something you find. No one's going to mention anything about it, as far as I know. So... It's really interesting that, you know, you find that here. It leaves you just speculating exactly what's going on. And how long has it been since the first game? It's obviously been like thousands and thousands of years. Or at least I think it is. Is that a shard you found? Yep. Here, let me see it. So that I may help you to see however faint. So, now... We're already up to four. And I think I might as well do a little bit of leveling up while I'm at it. See, her dex is already 18. Let's get it to 20. And boost up that endurance. I really should be focusing on her vitality as well. It's pretty damn low. Well, vigor, right? That's what you call it. Yeah, the vigor is really low. You know what? If I have any souls left, I don't really. Forget it. Okay. Okay. I gotta make up my mind about something. I can either move on through the level like I normally do, where, you know, I'm just gonna go down below and take out all the lower areas and stuff, or I can take on the Pursuer right now. I've actually done it before with my Nathaniel character and actually beat the Pursuer at, you know, at this point in the game. Um, granted, he had more life than she did. <laughs> so, if I mess up once, that's it. Um, oh, why not, right? Let's do this. What the hell did I just do? Oh, man. Forgive me for that derp moment. Okay. Actually, is there anything to burn? Okay, no. So we'll travel. There, there. It's probably.
probably dangerous for me to go after the Pursuer considering that my machine's chugging a little bit. <laughs> but the frame rate's not that bad to be honest, it's just a little bit. You know what? Since she's kind of weak, I think it might be a good idea for me to summon someone. But yeah, yeah. Well, he's more of a dex guy. You are. He seems to be a bit more of a tank. Well, first things first, let me clear this area out so I won't have to give him too much trouble getting there. Okay. Hi, how you doing? Hmm, seems to be having a hard time getting in. Okay. Ah, uh, I guess I went a little bit too far. Hi! Damn it, I think that's too early again. Um, ugh. Yeah, the frame rate is kind of chucking a little bit. This is going to be dangerous. <laughs> there. There's only one guy to kill. I don't think he's going to mind if I summon. All I have are shades, though. That sucks. Yeah, he doesn't even have decent armor. Oh well, you know what, let's take a chance and bring this guy in. And no. And no. How about you? And no. Huh, I should have grabbed the one I had a chance. Alright, let me go out and murder this dude and then I'm going to see if maybe something else will pop up. Hi. Anything? Mm? Any signs? Anybody? Okay, we got that. That just popped up. Let's see if this guy can help us out here. I mean, I probably could take the Pursuer on by myself, but considering how weak she is, having a distraction is probably going to be a really good idea. I give him a bit of greeting and wait for him to follow. And we're basically going to be going this way. Hopefully, he understands what the game plan is. And as you can see, there's the pursuer. Now, if I wanted to, I could just drop off and I don't have to fight him. But where's the fun in that, right? By the way, that's how you pretty much fight him. You want to see him do that charge. He's not that hard to fight. He's intimidating, but he's not hard. This is pretty much how you deal with him. And just hit him once when he does that. When he does that, um, that charging slash. Just hit him once. You, I mean, you could probably get away with doing it twice if you got a fast enough character, but I wouldn't recommend it. This is when you can swing like twice or three times. That attack, just do not be anywhere near that. Just don't. <laughs> See, having um, somebody there as a distraction really helps out. Because then you can just sneak up behind him. But even if you fight him by, him by yourself, he's not a problem, really. Oh, shit. I better get his attention so the other guy can live. Haha. -ha. I know all your techniques. <laughs> your Kung Fu's not good enough. Your techniques are predictable. See, I've pretty much seen everything he's got. There's, there really isn't anything that he can really surprise me with. That move, though, you gotta time the dodge just right when you're near it. 
it is a bit tricky. Uh oh. I kind of overdid it there, but eh, I was prepared. He can hit him from behind now. See, one's a distraction. Uh, one person plays distraction, the other person does a hitting. Whoa! That was close. We could finish him off with one more hit. Whoa! I. <laughs> I got hit, but he did the final blow. That was freaking awesome. <laughs> okay, let's see how long he can last with me here. I mean, we finally took out the boss, and that's good. So right away, I'm going to put on that Ring of Blades because it's going to be very useful for us. And now, since... You know what, I, what I really should be doing is leveling up right now, but since that guy's here, I might as well take advantage and not waste his time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through here. I think I saw something over here, but I'm not too sure. I forgot about this guy. There's a guy playing dead over there, but for some weird reason, I completely forgot about him. And then there's this right over here, which is a soul of a lost undead. She can use it. And now we're going to climb up here. Man, my frame rate's chugging along. I'm really sorry, guys. If, 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 this, if the footage looks horrible, it's my fault. I really should have just waited until the video had finished rendering. If you're wondering what's rendering right now, it's actually another Dark Souls 2 video that I'm planning on showing you guys. Okay, now these fools are pretty easy to deal with. Damn it! Alright, you want to handle them? And I missed. I don't know why I didn't jump. I don't know how I missed that. Grab this item here. Yeah, I'll come back for that thing on the top later. I don't want to waste this guy's time. Um, gotta be careful falling here. You want to land on the wagon. You don't want to just land on the ground. Otherwise, well, you saw what happened to that guy. He's fading, I think. Okay, we gotta be careful here. Especially me, because I'm using a fire longsword. Boom. That guy's strong. You see how much damage you did with that mace? Alright. And he's gone. Which is fine with me, because now I can level this character up a bit. <laughs> After I take out these guys. Why fight both of them at once when you can have one of them come towards you, right? It's called playing smart. Alright. Come on. Mm -hmm. I don't understand how he didn't stay stunned. That was really weird. It's really, really weird. Oh well. I can't predict these things. Come on. Let me see if I've got him. Damn. Okay, okay. This is going to be tricky because, well...
<laughs> Tricky, but not impossible. Still, we're going to have to switch to something else, and it's going to be that. Though, I'm actually planning on... Um, she's not going to be using the Fire Longsword for much longer. Like my Nathaniel character, she's going to have a rapier. Unlike the Nathaniel character, she's going to be staying with the rapier. Man, this frame rate's chugging. It is really chugging along, and all I can say is sorry. Come back here. You think you're going? That little bastard is sometimes tricky to hit, you know? Hi. You didn't think you were going to kill me, did you? He has a large leather shield and a life gem, though the large leather shield isn't all that great. Actually, it might be better than the Parma, though, so let's... I, I normally don't mess with it. I don't know why I switched to that. I normally don't mess with it. But, um, now that I'm looking at it, I'm realizing it's better than, um, this thing. So I might as well put it on. It looks nice. There you go. She now has a big-ass shield. By the way, you know something that's kind of funny to me about, um, this character that I made? Besides the fact that she uncannily looks like my wife, she even moves like my wife does. <laughs> It's the exact same walk. I'm not kidding. Like normally, you know, they would make like a generic walk for people. No, her that is her walk. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay. So I, I think this is enough. For one thing, the frame rate is kind of chugging, so uh, I'd rather play through with the, with, um, with her. Um, which when it's, you know. You have something better to look at, you know, when the frame rate looks smoother, so you know it, it's it's easier on your guys' eyes. But um, yeah, next when we meet, she's gonna have some better weapons, particularly a rapier to go along with that um scimitar. And we're gonna go through the rest of the first level. Um, for those of you who want to see how I go through the first level, and then after that, we're probably only gonna be using it for like special stuff, just to show you what uh, a mostly Dex character can do. Um, I, I mean, I'm. It's, I'm going to be sticking mostly with the Nathaniel character when I'm showing you um, going through the game, but every now and then I'm going to be bringing her in to show you some alternate stuff and some crazier stuff. Um, and I, I might use her exclusively for some bosses, like, you know, just just to give you an idea of how she's developing, um, you know, the opposite of my Nathaniel character. Because these two, even though they're going to be basically Dex characters, they're going on different routes. Um, the Nathaniel character is basically going to be a good mix of decks and spells, and there's a specific set of weapons that I want to build them around. Whereas Kit here is going to be a Dex Faith character, who's going to be based on using um, dual rapiers and basically some lightning attacks to help her through. But she's mostly going to be relying on her Dex-based um, weapons to do most of the damage, with, you know, a good dose of lightning <laughs> to back her up. And we'll just see how they develop. So, anyway, hope this was enjoyable for you guys, and I'll see you guys later with the next fit. Take care.